think one of the trends that I'm seeing in the space world today is just the entry of new um, participants in the space market. And so I think that's going to continue over the next 10 years. And as there's more and more industries, universities, academia involved in that, the innovation that could come from that, I think, is going to be astounding and really accelerate um, space in the future and, and, and how we get there faster. I think the space sector has always been dependent on collaboration. There's never been one nation that can do it all by themselves. And so I think collaboration is going to be increasingly important as we move forward. When everyone has access to space, we're going to have to work collaboratively to do things that we might want to do in the future, but also to overcome some of the challenges that will come when you have uh, that level of participation in space like we've never seen before. I think it would be, well first, I think the space world is so exciting and they're picking a tremendous career if they choose to go into that. But I think it's just to engage. With the internet today, you can participate in space in so many ways while you're still in school. You can learn about it. You can volunteer for things to inspire others to get into space. And so, so really just researching, do well in school obviously, but researching what's out there and engage in the space community early on uh, will just benefit them in the long run. I think, it's, I think it goes directly to collaboration, right? The Global Space Conference gives us an opportunity to hear from other nations, from other parties, to understand their interest in space and how we can work together. Um, we can share what we're doing, make sure we're not overlapping, and see how we could work more closely together going forward. It's an exciting time.